The Resort Video Guide presents This Week at the Beach. This Week at the Beach is brought to you by Jules, local fair with a global flair. While you're in Ocean City, visit the original Green Turtle. The Embers, seafood and prime rib buffet. Smitty McGee's in West Fenwick, Ireland. Ponsetti's Food, Fun, and Games, located on 144th Street across from the movies. Hello, I'm Marla. Welcome to the Resort Video Guide. I'm right here at the House of Welsh, right in Fenwick Island off of Coastal Highway. Unbelievable place, as you can see, unbelievable food. Um, this is Arlene. Hi. Now, Arlene, you're open how many days a week? We are open seven days a week, 365 days a year. Christmas Day, too. Also, what are your hours of operation? What time do you open? Our pub side opens up 11 o'clock every day, and the dining room opens at 4. So speaking of the pub, you have an awesome happy hour. Tell everyone about the happy hour. Yes, now. we do. Every day, happy hour prices at the bar, 11 to 6. We have $1.99 rail drinks. We have $1.50 Bud, Coors Light, Miller Light on draft, plus $1.75 bottles. And best of all, we have half price appetizers at the bar, three to six every day. You can't beat that. You can be here seven days a week for that as well. That's right. Also, <laughs> with your menu, this food is unbelievable. Um, there's a lot of, which I think is neat, combinations that you can create yourself pretty much. Tell us about that. Yeah, we have um, our eight ounce New York strip right here with a combination with the coconut shrimp. We have ribs, we have crab cakes. You can combine them. We have lobster tail. You can get chicken and ribs, anything you want. We'll put it together all starting at $19.99. See, so no matter what you're hungry for or your group that you bring in that is hungry for, it can please everybody. That's right. Also, extensive uh, wine selection with your entree as well. You yes, have we lots do. of wines to choose from. Mm -hmm. Um, and also we have great entertainment here. Tell us about some of the entertainers that come in here. We have great entertainment. We have DJ Norm three times a week. Mm -hmm. Monday, Thursday, Fridays. He gives dance lessons before, sometimes, you know, like for an hour. Uh -huh. And then we have Bob Hughes every Wednesday. People, all the locals know Bob. It's a great time. And every Friday and Saturday, we have um, Tony Vega. He's here 6 to 10. What are the hours that they usually do perform? Um, DJ Norm's usually here like 6 to 9. And then Fridays, DJ Norm comes 3 to 6. And then we have Tony after that. So it's a great, you know, it's a great time. So you can come up here, have some fun, get your groove on with all the entertainment that you have lined up. That's right. Now tell us about the big event coming up, as you can see. Right around the corner. St. Patty's Day. What is happening for St. Patrick's Day? Well, St. Patty's Day, we have great food, and um, we have lots of um, green beer will be flowing, and we have Bob Hughes. What time is Bob Hughes going to be here? Bob Hughes starts at 2 o'clock. Starts early. And then um, DJ Norm will finish the night off. And like I said, we have um, Martha's Famous Reuben Chowder. If you Ooh. never had it, it's delicious. It's a gotta have. Mm -hmm. Corned beef and cabbage as well. Corned beef of and course. cabbage. You got it all day long. Wear your green or get pinched. That's right. Because she's going to be the pincher that uh -huh. day. I believe you're going to be here, right? Yes, I'll be in the pub. She'll be making your green beer for you for St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. Big event in this area. That's for sure. It's, I mean, It's definitely a great party. All the locals know about it. And if you're visiting, you got to stop by here. And as we said, happy hour specials, unbelievable. The food, unbelievable. The staff, very friendly and awesome. Thank you, Arlene. Thank you. And I'm, come, oh, go go ahead, ahead. You go. <laughs> and come see me every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. I'm in the pub. <laughs> House of Welsh. Thank you for watching the resort video guide. Bye. <laughs> Definitely two balls out to the left and firm. Really? Gone. I know you know your wings, and you definitely know great entertainment. <laughs> but believe me on this one. Great putt. Thanks. After you play your round, come play around at Smitty McGee's, West Fenwick, Ireland. It's your best shot. 
See, I told you. Oh, don't quit your night job. <laughs> Late and more owner's secrets, and you're watching the Resort Video Guide, the greatest. Let's go to Pop Teddy's. Ponzetti Sports Pub, a great place to watch all your favorite sporting events. Enjoy our famous pizza and drinks during your favorite game. Then treat the whole family to food and fun in our spacious dining room and arcade. Ponzetti's Food, Fun, and Games, located on 144th Street across from the movies. The original Green Turtle since 1976, where it all started. Turtle, the perfect fun. gathering Night. place, whether out with your friends or family or cheering on your favorite sporting event. The original Green Turtle is your favorite destination for food, sports, music, and fun. It's games for everyone. The original Green Turtle on 116th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. An Ocean City tradition since 1976. Watch on demand from Comcast to find everything you need to know about Maryland Delaware beaches. Enjoy world-class beach resorts, championship golf, fine dining, fishing, accommodations, and real estate are all on demand on Comcast. To find this feature, go to channel 888, select travel and leisure, then Maryland Delaware beaches. This week at the beach has been brought to you by Jules, local fair with a global flair. While you're in Ocean City, visit the original Green Turtle. The Embers, seafood and prime rib buffet. Smitty McGee's in West Fenwick, Ireland. Ponzetti's food, fun and games, located on 144th Street across from the movies. Howdy partner, visit us at Flashback Old Time Photos. They take children, family, and group portraits, and your portraits are ready in minutes. Flashback Old Time Photos has three Ocean City locations. First Street on the Boardwalk, Somerset Street on the Boardwalk, and 120th Street and Coastal Highway in the Ocean City Square Shopping Center. <laughs> Hope to see you all real soon. While visiting Ocean City, there's a lot to see and do. But there's one place you just can't miss. The Sunset Grill, located on the water in the Sunset Marina in West Ocean City and voted Ocean City's number one hotspot. Sunset Grill is a year-round local's favorite, featuring a variety of unique signature dishes, creative cocktails, and the area's best happy hour. Open seven days a week with the entire menu available from 11 a.m. until late night. Just steps away for a change of pace, Teasers Dockside Bar with live entertainment nightly. Teasers for a fun place to unwind. Teasers and Sunset Grill. It's unbelievable. Stay tuned, more coming on the Resort Video Guide on Channel 8. BJ's on the water at 75th Street in the Bay, Ocean City is still the same. BJ's entire menu is offered from 11 a.m. until 1.30 in the morning. Still the same generous cocktails, the best raw bar in town, daily lunch and dinner specials, live entertainment, and no cover charge ever. Happy hour Monday through Friday from 4 to 7, duck feeding daily, and that fabulous bayfront view. It's still the same. BJ's on the water at 75th Street in the Bay, Ocean City. We invite you to explore Worcester County, a small world of wonder. Whether you're kayaking down the Pocomoke River, taking in historic Furnace Town, enjoying a peaceful walking tour, or just experiencing the culture and beauty of one of our museums or art galleries, Worcester County has so much to offer. 
To the east lie sparkling Atlantic beaches. To the west, more than 13,000 acres of state forest. North to south, the deep and timeless Pocomoke River travels the length of the county. Named after the Indian word for black waters, the Pocomoke winds among bald cypress trees at their northernmost range and is one of the nation's most scenic rivers. Worcester County's recreational opportunities are as various and rewarding as the county's landscape. Fishermen enjoy the surf, the bays, freshwater creeks and ponds. Golfers enjoy the county's championship courses, which are garnering recognition from national magazine and television audiences. Hikers, bikers, and sightseers can choose from special trails and walking tours rambling through wild pony country along the Assateague National Seashore and the many inland paths this beautiful county has to offer. Snow Hill is a collage of handsome churches and manicured colonial and Victorian style homes. It seems to live in a forgotten era that is nonetheless familiar and comforting. The town of Berlin's downtown commercial district is a true success story. Tree-lined streets, art galleries, antique shops, and the restored Atlantic Hotel captivate and attract visitors daily. Pocomoke City has a commercial district reminiscent of the early 20th century. While the Pocomoke River continues to be the centerpiece of the town, as residents and visitors enjoy all the river has to offer, Ocean City has turned into a year-round destination which truly offers something for everyone. From the boardwalk to the beach, each summer, Ocean City becomes one of the most popular places on the East Coast. Worcester County, come wander our native pathways. Share in nature's presence. Relax and refresh yourself, all in one place. Visit us online at visitworcester.org or call 1-800-852-0335 for more information. Welcome to Assateague Island, an unspoiled sanctuary on the eastern shore. Come explore the wonders of Mother Nature in your own backyard. A 37-mile-long barrier island located off the eastern coast of Maryland. It is best known for its herds of wild ponies, pristine beaches, and the Assateague Lighthouse. Historians believe that in the spring of 1524, on the ship La Dauphine, Florentine navigator Giovanni de Verrazzano came ashore here during his quest for a route to Asia. Now the gateway over the beautiful Assawoman Bay bears the name of this explorer and his brother, the map maker. There are several local legends about the origins of the ponies on Assateague. The most popular is that the ponies swam ashore from a Spanish galleon that had run aground. As recently as 1997, a Spanish shipwreck was discovered off of Assateague Island, lending credibility to this legend. Another story has it that the ponies came from a wrecked ship that had been on its way to the English colonies, and a third claims that pirates brought the ponies to the island. Although the ponies are small in stature, standing usually around 12 hands high, they do feature some horse-like characteristics which indicates that they are descendants of early horses. The ponies may show up just about anywhere on Assateague. On the refuge, it's most likely that you'll spot them in the marshes on the south side of the island's main road. The Assateague Island National Seashore was established in 1965 to preserve the barrier island, surrounding waters, and provide recreational opportunities. Assateague Island's pristine beaches offer swimming, beachcombing, fishing, and many other activities for the voyager looking to get away from it all. The island's bayside offers explorers an opportunity to venture beyond the roadways for a quiet adventure in the secluded coves and marsh areas among the sika deer, waterfowl, and feral horses via kayak, canoes, bicycling, or hiking. Come and explore the wonders of Assateague Island, the paradise of the eastern shore. The Salisbury Zoo is undergoing an Extreme Makeover Animal Edition. The Renew the Zoo Capital Campaign is trying to raise $3 million for a three-phase project to build an animal health clinic, to build an all-new interactive William E. Morgan Environmental Center, and to build a new exhibit called Discover Australia. Thanks to generous matching grants from Purdue and the Richard A. Henson Foundation, the zoo will receive $3 for every dollar that you contribute. Log on to www.renewthezoo.com to learn how you can help. <laughs> 